Because she says, each, okay, Mexico has a history of trade deficits. That means the exports, uh, import is more than exports. Trade import is more than trade exports. Mm -hmm. The government is moving the economy closer to free trade to try to improve its macroeconomic performance. It was predicted in 2017 that Mexico's economy would experience a small rise in its unemployment rate. The economy's inflation rate was 6.6%. The highest rate since 2001. A number of policy measures may be used to reduce inflation, including increasing the rate of income tax. <coughs> One thing is this. There's always, a, 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 there's always a relationship between inflation and unemployment. If unemployment is increasing, inflation would reduce. So there's indirect relationship between unemployment and inflation. So if the government of a country wants to reduce inflation, it could try to increase unemployment because they have inverse relationship. I think it's clear. Yes. Great. So we we'll move on. Now they said divine trading goods balance. Trading goods balance is the value of exports of goods minus import of goods. Clear? Yes. We we'll go to question two. Explain two benefits producers may gain from free trade. If there's free trade, one, it means that there's global relationship which could lead to advancement in technology. So because there's free trade, you will be able to have access to technology. And having access to technology would improve your method of production, which increases your output. Do you get the first point there? Do you get the first point I make? Okay. When there is free trade, it means you can have access to technology. You could get technology from anywhere across the world. And having access to technology, advanced technology, means that you can use it in your own country to improve your production method. Is it not an advantage? Yes, yes. The second point I make is about global trading, as producers may be able to sell to foreign customers. Because there's free trade, that means you can sell. You can export, you can import. So that means you can sell to foreign customers. And selling to foreign customers what? Would increase revenue and inc improve your balance of payments, current account. Clear? Is it clear? And the third point here, uh, the third question says, analyze using the production possibility curve diagram, the effect of an increase in unemployment on an economy. If there's unemployment in an economy, it means resources are not fully employed. And that is unemployment itself. Mm -hmm. That would reduce output. In the, that means the country is not performing to its uh, uh, to, uh, the country is not performing to its highest capacity. Do you get the point? Yes. As a result, the the, uh, the PPC curve will shift inward. Yes. That's the point there. I think it's clear. Yes. We go to D. They said discuss whether or not an increase in the rate of income tax will reduce inflation. Income tax and a reduction in income tax. Uh, they said. Uh, an, uh, a, uh, an increase in income tax would definitely reduce disposable income. And if disposable income is reduced, purchasing power for consumers would reduce, reducing the aggregate uh, demand in the economy, which will lead to reduction in the demand pool inflation, a fall in demand pool inflation. That was the first point. The second point I made is that as purchasing power reduces, revenue for firms will fall. If revenue for firms falls, what happens? They will reduce their investment in capital goods. Reducing investment in capital goods will lead to like reduction in demand again to fall. Aggregate demand will fall because firms will not be investing in capital goods. They won't be buying equipment. They won't be buying machines. So demand for machines will fall, leading to what a fall in aggregate demand again. Demand pool inflation would fall. Yes or no? Yes. So I've, made, I've used two demand pool inflation there. The top point I make there is that because there's an increase in income tax. Government revenue would increase. And if government revenue increases, government might be able to spend or subsidize for firms. Yes or no? If revenue increases for government, government might use that revenue, increase in revenue, to, to, uh, to encourage or to, uh, to invest in supply side policies. Yes or no? Yes. So an increase in su supply side pol policy could be through subsidizing. So if government subsidize for firms, that's the fourth point now. If government subsidize for firms, the cost of production would fall for firms. And if cost of production fall for firms, cost push inflation would reduce. Is it clear? Yes. That's about that. Four points. I made four points. 
Higher government to have a new true tax income may allow government spending on supply side policy measures. And one of the supply side policy measures is through education and training, which reduces, uh, um, uh, which reduces waste. Yes. That will reduce prices. Price will fall. Inflation is about price. Yes or no? Yes. So if I don't measure inflation, I have mentioned price. Because effect efficiency will bring about reduction in waste. Yes. And the fourth point is subsidizing. Is it clear now? Yes. All right. That's question two.